talking to Ryan Barrett. Always a pleasure talking to Ryan Barrett. And firstly, Ryan, how are you with the injuries? I'm very well. So um, I broke my I broke my hand in eight places against Podmore. So I broke my wrist, my thumb, and this bone up here. It was shattered, but uh, that's healed now. I don't know. I had I had a hernia in my stoma, which nearly killed me because um, it was stopped my stoma working. So I had sepsis and then I had morphine overdose when they operated on it. So I've had a bit of an hard time, but <laughs> nothing I'm not used to. And uh, I'm back now, so and that's all that matters. Listen, we, we do joke about it, but how are you now? Are you, you, I'm good, yeah. I'm really, I'm really good, yeah. You know BKB yeah, yeah. better than it. You can't fight if you're not 100%. No, no, no. And I have done before and I've been lucky enough to win. But that's not something when I'm When you weren't 100% fit? Yeah, I thought, I thought when I've not been 100%. So against Hodgson, I had a massive cyst on my back. Against Dorian Darch, I was pissing kidney stones on the Thursday before and still got in and fought and won. Against Daniel Podmore, I hadn't had very good preparation, but I'm about, not about excuses, about gaining and fighting. And I choose to get in the ring in that state. Yeah, and that's why there's no excuses. Your decision. There's no excuses for me, win or lose. Everybody would love to see you and Poddy get it yeah, on yeah. again. They'd love to see it, because it was a great, oh, yeah, just was, spoilt with the injury. Yeah, but... that's, that was the thing, and I think, uh, Podmore, obviously... Because you get Podmore. on well, don't you? Yeah, oh, we do, yeah, good friends. But more than that, I respect Podmore as a fighter that he is. And I knew that's the fight I was going to get. And if I'm honest, I didn't get enough of it. And I don't think he did either. But obviously, I think it, the way it ended, it's not really how we want it to end. But it ended in the way that he got his hand raised and I didn't. And uh, due to injury, he could carry on, I couldn't. So that's him the champion. Simple but he's that. injured now. He lost, yeah. his, he lost the cruise. So he's got to yeah. win that back for you to yeah. have another. Or exactly. you've got to be matched perhaps with... Yeah. But um, obviously I'm fighting now at a lower weight yeah. for British titles, so if I win that, maybe there's an opportunity for, I don't know, another name beforehand, because Podmore's got an injury that's going to take a while, maybe I could pick a belt up at this weight and then try and do two weights like I did, like Podmore has. Now, you're fighting Bradley Scott yep. at the O2, March 26th. Yep. What do you know about Bradley Scott? I know he's a, a good level um, MMA fighter. I know he's had one fight, one knockout, and that was at a heavier weight. But I've seen he fights at a low, he's fought as a lower weight. It seems like he's put a lot of weight on. So there's no known content until you get in there and get take a shot. You're not going to know. But I'm, I just know with me, I'm very confident. I always believe I can win, and this is no different. You do always. You leave nothing in the ring. No. You give it all. I, yeah, yeah. I, I get that. Are you improving technically? Do you yeah, think? Yeah, all the time. So every time I fight, if you watch a tape of me, you can't. It's not the same. So. I've, won, I've knocked people out of over and rights, I've knocked people out with check left hooks. I've, I've stopped Dorian darts purely on cuts, not trying to punch, and I'm a puncher. So you don't know what you're going to get against me. Um, Renan Munro, we've got Renan Munro in my corner, an absolute tactician, absolute ring IQ is off the charts. He formulates a plan. And I fucking box to orders when I get in there. Do you do that though? I do, yeah. There's, it's all right having a plan until yeah. the bell goes, yeah, yeah. but you box to the plan. Well, well that's it, against Dorian Darch, a person I believed I could be only if I did what I was told. And if I hadn't have done, he'd, he'd have knocked me out, like he would knock anybody out. But I did, under pressure, I'm someone who can box to orders, and that's through being in the Marines. Yeah, when there's bullets flying out, and you get a call, go. Yeah, you've got to fucking go. <laughs> and uh, I know if I get myself in the right frame of mind, which Rendell does, Jay does, my people in my corner, I'll do what I'm told in the heat of the moment. And I'll perf I perform on the night. I'm a performer. Some people are good in the gym. I'm good under the lights. You've been in the heat of battle in the army. Yeah, yeah. You've been in the heat of battle, as you say, bullets flying. Yeah, yeah. So getting in the ring. No, no, no. It's just for me. I'm so passionate. I have to make sure I'm calm. And that's why I'm in my walkouts. I'm a bit mental sometimes because I have to get that emotion out of me first. Otherwise, that's not going to serve me so best when I get in the ring. Is your problem? Could it be a problem then that you you fight the occasion and not the fight? Oh no! For me, I love fighting so much. It's like I have to be calm to box because I just want to have a scrap. So as an amateur, I would lose a fight, happily lose a fight to have a tear up. When I, in a fight, I can win by boxing. Whereas now, this is this is I want to set a legacy for my family, yeah. for the people who have supported me, like my ex misses her kids, everything like I want to show them that if you if you if you work hard and try, no matter what's gone and wrong in your life, then you can fucking be a winner. And that's what I want to show everybody. Everyone with ulcerative colitis, mental health problems, PTSD, people came out of the military. Yeah, there's life after all of this if you don't give in. So what you're showing is, look, yeah, whatever yeah. you've had to go through, yeah. there's a way out. Yeah, there's not going to be anyone who's fucked up as much as me or been had so many things happen to stop them succeeding as me. And if and if I can, you can. If I can be a British champion after being on a hospital bed two years before, so can you. 
anyone can. And that's what I want to show. And I think bare knuckle boxing, I want to present it in a way where people aren't thinking of gypsies and abales, they're thinking of people, ex-military people coming in and having another go, recreating their life and doing, trying to positively influence others as well. And improving the standard exactly, all the time. Exactly, yeah. And I think it's a sport that's growing and ever growing and I want it to be pro promoted in a way that's bringing bring audience in, not put people off. Because it's a sport that I love and it's changed my, changed my life and I want it to appeal to as many others so that maybe watching me fight can help somebody else. You're one of many that say BKB has changed their lives. Yeah, yeah. But, but it has changed your life for the better, oh, hasn't massively, it? Massively, yeah, massively. Like, when I started this, I was at the point of no return. And uh, I just kind of said in my head, I'm going to get signed by BKB. <laughs> Made it up in my mind. And then six weeks later, I was. And then a couple of months later, I was fighting Matthew Hodgson, a fight no one expected me to win. And I just think, wait, so these people see me for real? I can say the same things in interviews as everyone else. I'm not the same when I get in there, and you'll see that on the night. I've seen you in the ring, yeah. so you bring a lot to BKB. Yeah, yeah. But BKB's done a lot for you. Oh, it's massively, yeah, massively. And this is the thing, I thought the opportunity Jimmy and Joe gave me, I'm glad to have gave it to me and not somebody else, because I mean what I say, and until you watch me fight, until they give me that chance, I just sound the same as everybody else. But I thought when I get in there and knock Matthew on sound out in seven seconds, everyone knew I weren't talking shit. They knew you meant business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I did the walkout, they you know I mean business. Well, we can't wait to see you in action yeah. again. The crowd love to see you. We love to see you. Yeah. Good luck on the night. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.